Welcome back guys. In today's video, Bhavani says, I just can't find the add new theme button or search for new plugins. I'm forced to use the default 2017 theme. Can you please help? Yes, we can help out Bhavani. And we'll show you how to both add new themes and use them and how to add new plugins and use them as well. So from your home page right here on the front end, just click to the dashboard in the upper left. Click on your site title. And then to get to the themes area, just click on appearance. Or you could hover on appearance and click themes. It'll take you to the same place. And now you can just click add new or you can click on the big plus on the right. Same thing. And now you can search from featured, popular, latest themes, whatever you want to go for, whatever look, looks, looks good. Once you find a new theme you like, you can just click to open it up and you can click to preview it and then once you're ready to use it you can just click install and it's really easy to remove a theme too if you don't like it so that's why we're testing it out here and click activate and now let's click our site title to go back to the front end and we'll see that our site is now wearing a new theme this is the Hestia theme and it looks pretty good this could definitely work all right, so now we can go back to the dashboard and we can go to appearance, themes. And then if you wanna remove an active theme, just click on a different theme like the one your site was previously wearing. Activate this one instead and everything will switch back automatically. Now you can click on the theme you don't want to open it up and click delete in the lower right corner. And you can delete it from your site if you don't want it to sit there taking up space. To add new plugins, the process is pretty similar you can hover on plugins and click add new or if you click on the plugins tab you'll get a little add new button up above uh, the top like right here plugins add new and once you're in this area you just need to search so ideally you've done some googling on the best plugin for this and that or you could just ask us in the comments and we'll help out you can look up whatever you're thinking of and sometimes when you start typing WordPress will just suggest a plugin, which is kind of cool. So once you find a plugin you like, you can just click install now. Just like a theme, activate it. And then you can go ahead and start using it on your website or your blog. If you want to get rid of a plugin, you can just deactivate it and delete it and you can always re-add it back again. There's no negative impact of deleting a theme or a plugin from your site, assuming your site doesn't rely on it and it's not being used actively on your site. Nothing bad will happen and you can always go ahead and bring it back if you want it later. All right, so I hope that helps you to add a new WordPress theme to your blog or to add a new plugin to your WordPress blog or website. Thanks so much to Bhavani for asking that question and for inspiring this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching because I really enjoy making these for you guys. And please make sure to subscribe so that you get the answer to your question if you're featured and so that you get all the latest in WordPress how-to and tips. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.